Greetings folks, I've been asked quite a few times about whether it's possible to program crow breaking using the FSI6 radio and a six channel receiver and yes it is, you'll use all the channels and you use all the mixes on the radio so you won't be able to mix anything else. So you sort of have to decide if uh, the crow breaking is going to be more important to you than say uh, elevator throttle mixing or rudder aileron mixing or or camber and reflex. Anyway, let's have a look at how crow braking works. So I have it on a three position switch here, switch C. I have it so that the, in the up position, everything's level, normal flying. In the middle position, flaps go halfway down. In the down position, flaps go all the way down and the other ones come up a little bit. Uh, to slow it down, kill the lift, enable you to land the glider in a lot uh, shorter space. I've had another recent question too about uh, how you get the RX voltage to show on the screen. And that means that the receiver is operating in the AFHDS2A protocol and that it, it, it's properly bound to the radio. This RX voltage won't show up unless you have those two conditions met. Anyway, let's have a look at how we program the crow braking. All right, so let's go to the setup menu auxiliary channels. I have nothing on channel five and channel six is set to the C switch and that is just the flaps. Flaps are on a Y lead plugged into channel six and operated by switch C. And I've adjusted the length of the push rod so that in the up position the flaps are level. Middle is halfway down. Down is all the way down. So here we go. Mix one is the separate ailerons master aileron or left ailerons channel one and the slave ailerons channel five so that's just making channel five do what channel one does so we have the ailerons working positive and negative mixes of a hundred mix two is making the left aileron work off the swc switch and it's only uh, in the negative part of the movement so that's the minus 50 and the only moving 50 percent when the c switch is all the way down mix three does the same thing for the right aileron when the flaps are all the way down when the swc switch is all the way down the right aileron moves up 50 percent and only 50 percent because you still want control of the ailerons while you're uh, using uh, crow braking you can play around with these numbers, you can reverse them if the ailerons are moving in the wrong direction. It all depends on your servos, which way they're mounted and all that sort of stuff. So there you go, that's crow braking on a six channel receiver with the FSI6 radio.